That it all started when the pandemic started, and we're told police departments across the country are feeling the pinch. Now, we're talking about the remedy to the ammunition shortage. It is nowhere near the end. And we spoke with local police chief and an ammo seller who tell us that the pinch could turn into pain if production doesn't start to pick up. Our Scott Mattis explains for us tonight. Across the country and right here in central PA, there's a massive shortage of ammo. And while it's affecting the average sportsman, it's hitting law enforcement at a critical time. Ken Westover runs the Allegheny Trade Company and sells to police across the area. He tells me it all started when the pandemic hit and the shortfall of production and distribution hasn't rebounded since. I think it's going to last a little bit longer because they've got to catch up now because they've depleted years worth of stock in a few months really is what happened. And also feeling the pinch are law enforcement agencies. I spoke with Chief David Reese with the Logan Township Police Department who tells me they are stocked. But through their distributor, they currently aren't getting the full allotment as they did in the past. For us as a police department, we're not able to get our ammunition as quickly. We still get it piecemeal but not in large bulk like we had ordered in the past. And while the shortage hasn't affected street officers on patrol, it has affected how much departments are paying for ammo and how officers qualify with their service weapons. We've been uh, diligent in ensuring that we've had enough ammunition, so at this time uh, we're able to overcome it, but long term it could be a problem. Back in Duncansville, Ken says the shortage is also affecting the price of ammo, which has increased incrementally since early 2020. And he says the shortage doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. We'll see prices come down, I'm sure. But we're probably going to have to wait for things to catch up, for the companies to build their stock back up. Uh, everybody's having trouble getting workers. I'm sure they're having the same problem. In Altoona, Scott Mattis, WTAJ News.